We don't tell a 17 year old kid that Nike sucks, because the fact of the matter is, Nike doesn't suck, they're actually very good at what they do, and the kid has a wonderful relationship with them. When they walked into the locker, room to change, they threw on their Jordans, and that's okay, we're going to get there. There's an entrepreneur right now, scared to death making excuses, saying, it's not the right time just yet, there's no such thing as a good time. I started an apparel manufacturing business in the tech boom years, I mean, come on, get out of your garage and go take a chance and start your business. I loved growing up in Kensington, summers were big games of capture the flag or kick the can, it was not far from West Side Story. In the fourth or fifth grade because his brothers said it was his turn. I was always a good kid, but I ended up finding trouble from time to time too. I remember overhearing my mum and dad talking one time it was, just after I had been let go from Georgetown Prep. I was upstairs and hearing my parents talking and my mum saying, what are we going to do about Kevin? And my dad just saying, you know Kevin, he will always be okay. I was always telling people I was doing great even if I wasn't, it's being bigger than you are, I couldn't tell, people I burned through $17,000 in cash and had maxed out $40,000 on my credit cards. But I had one of those moments when I thought, did I do the right thing? Did I go after the right opportunity? And then that day, I remember coming home and checking the mail and in. The mail was a check from Georgia Tech, the first school that we'd sold, for $3,800, which had me right back in it. Great brands are like great stories, and every story has a beginning, a middle and an end, and our job is to make sure that every chapter of our stories makes sense to the one in front of it and makes sense to the one after it. Under Armour was a company that started because I had an idea and I didn't have a lot to lose. I think there's too many ideas that are sitting in a garage or a basement or an attic somewhere that somebody's holding back saying is, now the right time, should I try, should I go for it, wow some football player from Maryland can start a company and actually have it work so far. Find out if your product can sell and if it can sell, do it faster and do it better than anyone else. The competitive flair that built our country, entrepreneurship is one of the most undersold resources that we have as a nation. 